Hi, today we're interviewing Dutch Nichols. He's a realtor in Atascadero. Uh, Dutch, what was your personal path to becoming a realtor, including other jobs you may have had or paths that, you, that didn't work out and you changed? Primarily, how I got into real estate was I was a title officer for title insurance and trust. A title officer is involved in real estate transactions with regards to the history of a particular piece of property. It's, uh, all the documents are recorded in the county, and that was my job, was to search down uh, titles to real estate. And how long have you been a realtor now? It's been about 35 years. What type of education do you need to become a realtor? There's no education requirements other than you have to be 18 years old, uh, have a clean, uh, no criminal record, and you must take, uh, I believe it's six college credit courses to uh, qualify to take the exam through the state. And is there an entry level position that would lead to becoming a realtor? They do have what they call assistance where uh, a particular real estate agent, licensee, or a real estate broker may have an assistant to help them in their personal business. Uh, that would be a good place to, uh, to start, to learn the ropes, learn the law, and then eventually make a decision whether you want to further your you know, education in real estate. And what's a typical annual salary for an entry-level realtor? That I don't know the uh, uh, answer to, but you know, from a licensee, the sky's the limit. Just there's no limit to uh, as long as you put in the hours, you'll get paid. And what are the basic personality traits or manual skills that would be needed to become a realtor? Be able to communicate, communicate with the public. Good telephone skill, skills, good computer skills. Um, good appearance, uh, just an all-around healthy uh, appearance. And what's a typical workday like for a realtor? Oh, very similar to a doctor. It's basically 24-7. Uh, I, I get phone calls all day long, in the evening, at the house, in the car, when I'm on vacation, and on Sundays, so you never have any time off. And what's the part of this occupation that you like the best? Communicating with people, working with people, um, helping them realize their dreams, and uh, achieving their goals. And what's the part of the occupation that you like the least? Quite often you have to run it. You work with other people uh, within the real estate industry that do not follow up, uh, do not do what they say they're supposed to do, or they're uh, incompetent. And what really fires you up about being a realtor? Freedom, being able to do uh, what I want to do. I'm out in the field, I have no hours, I don't have anybody telling me when I have to be at work, and um, that's just nice being having the freedom, because with a family, that's very important. And being a realtor, does it lead to any other future vocations? Um, you can get advanced degrees in real estate, or um, people I know have gone on, gotten their law degrees, and went into the, the legal profession. So it, it's pretty wide open. Um, oil companies need people that know their real estate. There's all kinds of industry out there that needs uh, real estate people. And lastly, would you be willing to discuss your vocation as a realtor with young people who might be interested in this career? Oh, certainly. Thank you. That was Dutch Nichols, a realtor in Atascadero.